How's it going, everyone? <laughs> so my name is Tim Salau. I'm an AI product manager with Microsoft. I've been there for about three months now, um, working specifically on our customer care intelligence team. And the sole purpose of my team is to actually rethink what should customer experience be like. Um, so our team actually was formed. Oh, there we go. Our team was formed about a year ago with this mandate to think about where are we going in the customer service industry. Um, for those that don't know, bots are a really popular thing. How many people in here have used bots before or interacted with bots? Sweet. How many people have built a bot before? Okay, sweet, sweet. So our team was focused on coming in and thinking about what should customer experience be like. There's a lot of different bot building tools on the market from Dialogflow or Alexa's skills kit. And we at Microsoft have been investing in various different technologies from our bot framework kit, which allows developers to come in, build a bot using development tools, and then also deploy it to any different type of channel, such as Facebook, Skype, Twitter, um, or even email. So our team, about a year ago, before I joined, was actually given the mandate to look at the workflow of building a bot. And when you really look at this workflow from plan to evaluate, there's actually a lot of different types of tension, right? So at the planning phase, you have to think about what do we want the bot to do? What is its purpose within our business, right? And then from there, you have to go into building a bot. And if you're not an AI expert or if you don't have a develop development background experience, that can be tough, right? Coming in, signing up to a tool such as our Azure bot service or some of our other different cognitive services such as Luis, which is our language understanding tool, you don't really know where to start because you don't have deep domain expertise. And then going to testing the bot, right? Because if you don't already have a development background, how are you gonna learn how to test a bot? And then from there, you have to publish, whether it be to Facebook or Twitter or Skype, wherever it is that your customers are actually interacting with the business. And after that, from publishing and connecting to that channel, you have to evaluate, monitor the bot over time, understanding what is the sentiment that it's picking up when it's interacting with customers? What new knowledge is being formed or how is it getting smarter and addressing customer issues? So we have to build something special to really address this. And what we're calling it is the visual virtual Desi the virtual, I'm sorry, the virtual agent designer. So this image has bot designer, but we've actually changed the name to be more aligned with what we believe is the future of customer service, which is allowing customer support teams to build virtual agent designers or use our virtual agent designer to build virtual agents that can talk to any customer on any different type of support channel. So within our tool, within five minutes and in five steps, a customer can come in, sign up using um, our portal and leveraging our Azure cloud services, sign up to our tool, create a new bot, and go from creating a new bot, creating support topics related to your business's domain knowledge or certain support topics you know are often triggered um, by customers when you're servicing them, and also go from there to monitoring and analyzing a bot by looking at how many sessions are occurring, right? Or even of those sessions, which ones are the top performing sessions? So I have an ask. For those of you who are interested in learning more about our tool, I ask that you go to our website, which is dynamics.microsoft.com, AI customer service. And at the bottom of our website is a contact us panel. And in this contact us panel, what I want you to do is request to sign up if you're interested and you think your customer support team would want to use our tool or try it out. We're currently in our private preview phase of the product, so we're testing it with a few select customers. But beyond then, we'll be pushing to public preview in about three months or so. And beyond that, in six months or so, we'll be going into general availability. Now, some of the things and details I talked about haven't even been pushed out yet, so you guys are actually a few select people to see what this product can do or what it even looks like. But if you want to see more, you can actually reach out to us and become part of our private preview process where we're showing it and demoing it to a few select customers. With that said, I would love to get some questions, and I have answers for you, for sure. <laughs> so this bot is primarily around, for example, a chatbot online, or is it also possibly uh, voice bots? 
So we do have a focus to... So he asked, so are the bots going to be primarily chat bots online that you can deploy to Facebook Messenger or your website? Or are we eventually going to move into a space where you can actually create voice-related bots? So yes, we are. That is in our roadmap long term. But right now, we're specifically focused on the customer service domain. So it's going to be chat bots that you can create that can be deployed to Facebook Messenger or your website. But that is in our roadmap. Any more questions? Yes, they can. And that's what's really lovely about our product because what, we, what we've done is we've really rethought the entire workflow. Um, a lot of different products that exist right now, it makes it, it makes it hard to pull from existing data sources and they don't really have the experience, the user experience, that ideally would be for someone that doesn't have a developer background or isn't an AI scientist. So what we've really done isn't dumb it down, but really simplify in a sense where you can be a customer support manager that has no development experience or has no developer assistance, and you can actually pull from your knowledge base or pull from existing CRM data and actually equip your bot with intelligence out of the gate. And over time, as it interacts with more customers, they'll get smarter, and you can use those AI-related suggestions, which is the engine that's actually supporting our product, to actually make a smarter bot and improve it over time. Repeat that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a graphical tool of allowing people to create conversational paths. So our graphical tool, which is what I displayed here, this within this, you can actually create a conversation between a bot and a user. One, but also you can connect to, let's say, a data source. If you have Salesforce case data or Dy Dynamics 365 CRM data, you can connect to that. And from there, we'll be able to pull from existing case data and be able to use our natural language understanding technology to determine what are some of the most common topics from existing case, case data. And the bot will already be able to you know, make sense of that, make reason over that, and then use that as a way to detect different intents or different requests coming in. And out of the gate, be already smart because you already have an existing pool of data that we can leverage and equip with the bot. But over time, there might be some data in there that you, you, know, that you already don't have and you want to create diff new conversations or new new topics, as we, we call them. Um, and that will allow you to have control over, OK, well, we see that we don't have an existing case data that can address this topic. Let's have someone on our customer support team go into the tool and create 10 topics for helping people find what our store hours are and things like that. Any more questions back there? How custom? How custom? It's, um, well, you can create as many topics as you want. Uh, and this is actually something that's hard um, right now. It's not easy. You have to be a developer in order to do this in any tool. And we've actually simplified it to a point where you don't have to be an expert at all to just create a topic based off a, a, a based off a customer support issue. So we're we're, we're really um, hoping that when we test this, because we're about to test this soon, um, as we go into our private preview, that we get that kind of feedback. That wow, I didn't know it was this easy to just create a topic for a bot or create trigger phrases that will allow me to you know actually account for the types of intents and requests that are coming through our customer support front line. Mm. 
Well, a question is, where is the data being stored? Okay. Well, I, a part of our roadmap is we will also have system integrators that work with businesses, enterprises to determine what type of data systems or architectures they have set up existing. But within our tool, you can connect and manage different data connections, whether it be there in your Salesforce CRM, your Dynamics 365 CRM, or any other CRM you have. And you can also cleanse how your you cleanse the case titles for your data, but essentially using, depending on wherever the data is being stored um, that has commerce, customer support top, um, requests and topics, we'll be able to really ingest that with our own tool. Um, so another half of our tool, because I'm only actually only focusing on the virtual agent designer, but within this is um, a, at a high level is our Dynamics 365 customer service for a, AI for customer service platform, which is a mouthful I know, but there's, there, there's another side called Insights which uh, allows you to actually upload all of your case data and also have like an overview of how your agents are performing in tandem with existing data and what are the top performing you know, cases that you already have existing and what's the high level like key performance indicators of how those cases are, have been doing, right? So what's been the volume um, and also, how, I mean, what's been the escalation rate, things like that. Um, but it all just depends where your data is stored. If it's in an unstructured format, like all around, then obviously we can have system integrators work with that enterprise to determine how can we get that in a structured format so it can make sense and we can actually map it to how our system um, is. One more question. That's a good question. Um, end to end, it's an end. To, it's 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 actually going to be the first end to end virtual agent designer platform out there, and in a way where it's no code, um, and you don't have to have any AI expertise. Um, obviously, because it's going to be such a new tool, and AI is something that we're still educating everyone about. Um, there's still going to be some hand holding, um, and there's still going to be a lot of learning. But it's simple enough to the point where you don't need to have any background in AI in order to use it. And it can and you can create bots that handle really really complex issues. 